Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am making this adorable little card. I'm using a stamp from CC Designs, Breezy, and I'll be sure to add that down in the description box. On ba the back of my little mask piece here, I'm using some Tombow Mono Liquid Glue, and I'm going to spread that around with my fingers, making sure that I cover the entire back of my mask. My mask is just a piece of cardstock, and when you spread out this glue and let it sit for just a minute, it becomes repositionable. So I can add that onto my card and then not worry about it sticking permanently to my card. So I'm just cleaning up any of the glue there, and I'm going to use my Tweezer B Tweezers to add my masking, my masked pieces down to my card, making sure I line that up correctly. And I have this stamp from, or excuse me, a stencil from All to New. It's the halftone stencil. I'm adding a little bit of ATG down to my piece on my mat. And now I'm going to position my stencil where I want and add some blue painter's tape to keep it from moving around. Using some Broken China Distress Oxide, I'll pull out a piece of scrap paper here and wipe some of that excess ink off before I take it to my, my uh, card piece. I'm going to add the darkest to the bottom right and kind of let it fade off towards the top left. And here I'll pull up my stencil just to check if I'm happy with it, but I did want to add a little bit more. So once I was happy with that, I went ahead and removed my stencil, cleaned up my workspace using a baby wipe, and then I'm going to go right around my, my focal piece, my little girl there, and add some more of the broken china. I wanted it to represent the sky and have her stand out more. The sentiment on the card I purchased from the online silhouette store. It says, and so the adventure begins. I just printed that out. And I also took my adhesive remover to remove any leftover residue of that glue that was on my image. So now for her skin, I'm pulling out my Copic markers. I'm pulling out E00, E11, E33, an E93 and I'm coloring from lightest to darkest. So I'll add a complete base coat of my lightest, the E00, and then I'll go through with my medium and then dark tone to where her shadows would be. I'm still learning how to work with Copics and I am really enjoying them. I love working with the alcohol markers. I don't worry too much about the shading. I figure that'll come with time and with practice. And every time I color, I seem to learn a little bit more of, of how I like my images to look and how to color. So I figure all that will come with time, but I can tell you that I'm really enjoying working with them. So this is a digital stamp that I purchased and I like using digital stamps. I just printed out from my Canon printer. I don't have a problem with the ink running with the Copic markers. And the reason I like working with digital stamps is then you can size it to whatever size that you want. So I just put out a, a box. Um, let me interrupt myself here. I'm pulling out the colors for her hair. So I'm using E55, E57, and E59 for my darkest. Doing the exact same thing. Coloring from light, then using my medium, and then my darkest tone, and then going back out. So back to the digital stamp. I just put out a box on my Silhouette Studio of what sized card I want to use. So I did a A2 sized card and then I just sized my stamp up or down. I just drag it up or down to see what I was happy with and how I liked it along with my sentiment. Then for the mask, I was able to put this back into my Silhouette, have it scan it using my pick scan mat, and then have it cut out a mask for me using some lightweight cardstock, and that worked perfectly with the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. So in her hair, I'm trying to leave some highlights. Like I said, I, I try not to worry too much about where shadows would be or where the highlight is coming in from because I'm still learning, but I was really happy with how this turned out. Like I said, I, I don't put too much stress on myself. I just color and just keep coloring until I'm happy with it. Mm -hmm. 
when I was done with this card, this card ended up being a little bit smaller than an A2 sized cards. I'll have the measurements at the end here, but the final card size ended up being five and one eighth by four and a half. And this card is for a friend who's going on a two month trip. So I just wanted to wish her well and have fun. For the grass, I'm using YG17 and G14. I'm adding my darker pieces in there for the blades of grass, just adding a few random here and there. For her dress, I'm using B93, B95, B97, and then I will also add in Y11. I go back with that Y, the yellow, the Y11 later as well into her dress and add a little bit more for the pleating. But I like this series of blues because it's more of like a um, blue jean look. So that's what I wanted her dress to look like. I'm adding a little bit of my darkest color to the pleats of her dress around the edges and her shoes as well. And then going back and blending it back out with the medium and the light. I use my colorless blender to clean up a little part that went outside the line slightly. So now for her little socks, I pulled out BB20 and BB23. I like this because it's a um, grayish undertone and for the red I pulled out R37 and R46 adding that to the middle of her dress and also part of the balloon or I'm sorry the kite not the balloon And there's where I go back in with the yellow and add it to the little star in her dress and some of the pleating in her shirt underneath. Also her little hair bows. For the kite, I also pulled out V12, V15, and V17. Again, coloring from lightest to my mid-tone to my darkest back out. And for the little dog, I'm using same colors that I used for the hair, E55, E57, and E59. And then I am using a little of R83 for his little nose. I pulled out my Signo White Jelly Gel Pen, adding some highlights. I'm just getting it working there before I add it. I added it on her cheeks and on the dog's cheeks as well. I'm also adding some polka dots to her dress and a little highlight in her kite. And then I will also go back with my Wink of Stella to add that to the kite and also her little hair bows or hair ties rather. So I was really happy with how that turned out. I'm going to now make my card base. The card sizes, the card base is five and an eighth by four and a half. That's also gonna be the blue layer that covers the front of my card. My gray mat is four and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then my focal piece is a four and three fourths by three and three fourths. I do end up um, using a 110 pound heavyweight card base, scored that in half, and used my Teflon bone folder to give it a good crease. And now I'm gonna adhere my layers down with my ATG. And I'm adding a 
piece of chipboard underneath my gray piece. I love on, on cards to give them a little bit dimension. So I'm gonna map that on the front and then add that on to the front of my card. And that's all there was to it. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope, hope you have a great day and check out the description box for more information. Thanks for watching. Thank you.